Okay. All right. Good evening. Um, so, my name is Mr. Casali, and here we are for our spring concert for sixth grade. Um, I'm going to let the students introduce the show for the most part, but what I did want to say just really quickly, because I know I'll forget, or maybe I'll remember, but I better say it now. Um, at the end of the show, because we're going to be switching to our seventh grade concerts, uh, what I'm going to do is have parents exit through the exit that is over there. There's a red exit sign you may see over there on that side. Rather than trying to go through this exit and go into a bunch of 7th grade parents and families, we'll just exit that way. Students will exit out through the front of the building and you can meet up with them there on that other side of the wall. Okay, that will hopefully help a little bit with traffic if people are trying to, um, we, you know, leave the building. We've got some people coming 7th grade, some people leaving 6th grade. So, the challenge is what the challenge is, but I'm going to send you guys out that door just to make it a little bit easier to kind of help the flow of traffic. Um, so, that's about all I have to say for the time being. Um, I am going to have uh, a couple of students introduce our concert. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Regan. I'm a representative of the Lincoln Middle School Band. Welcome to the Lincoln Middle School Band Spring Concert. We have a great program for you tonight. We have been playing hard all year and we are excited to share this music with you. While some of the students on the stage have been playing for a few years now, others have started playing their instruments for the first time this year. We think you will be very impressed with how we continue to develop as we progress through the Lincoln Band program. My name is Jane, and I am a representative of Lincoln Middle School Band. In the next couple of weeks, these groups will continue to play. Next week, we will we have our final rehearsals, and then we are headed to Six Flags for our thrills, thrills and thrills and thrills Six Flags trip. After that, we will perform for the Towns Lincoln Memorial Day Parade alongside the high school band and many others. Tonight begins what is to be a great finish for our years playing music and having fun. We would like to thank you as well as the Lincoln Middle School Administration team for your support and encouragement. Good evening, my name is Ellie and I am a representative of the Lincoln Middle School Band. Also, we would like to thank you in advance for any donations you made in the wooden blocks outside. As a school, we do not see it appropriate to charge money for tickets to come and see students, student performances. However, we greatly appreciate and are grateful for any contributions that people make. They go with fundraising money into the band account and continue to help us acquire the things we need for the band. Thank you. Before we begin, we would like to remind everyone to please be respectful audience throughout the concert and try to avoid all types of distractions, including cell phones and talking about to the person next to you. Please try to keep any young children in their seats throughout the performance, and if you need to use the bathroom, please do so in the same time.
Larry Clark. Background can be described as a mixture of molten and sunny molten rock that is found beneath the surface of the earth. This piece starts like a volcano about to erupt. You're here and the building of the eruption has a benefit in unison. Then the lava moves forth and begins to travel forward as it does the music. Each instrument tips a turn playing the melody and harmony as we build forward and hit the final climax at the end of the song. Beware, this one's hot. Get ready for that one.
All right, so um, just to break it up a little bit, we're going to change it up for a moment. Um, and I've got a couple of solos that are planned for this evening. Um, now, the solos are student solos. They're stuff that the students worked on on their own. In fact, this year, usually I put something, a few things out, but we just didn't have time this year with all the testing that we had towards the end of the year. Uh, it was just challenging to get everything done. Um, so adding solos and taking time to go through them was going to be a challenge for me uh, and for the students. So um, I did, however, open the door to allow some students to do solos if they chose to. Um, and there are a couple of them. And this is really stuff that they did on their own, not stuff that I, mean, I gave them the information on how to do it, but they did it on their own. So um, without further ado, I'm going to present a couple of solos. And the first soloist is Vasya and
Um, another round of applause because, you know, again, these are all students are doing this work on their own. It's not stuff that I do. Alright, so that brings us to our next group song.
Star Wars, and I have a special guest to help me introduce the song. <laughs>
thing um, that I have to do this evening before I kind of dismiss everybody. Uh, so, uh, it is the end of the year, or getting close to it anyway for me. Um, and although we do have a couple of things left this year, as we're getting close to the end, uh, one of the things I do like to do is um, pass out some awards and also some certificates uh, to sort of celebrate some of the good work that people have done this year. Uh, there's a few things that I kind of look for when I do awards. Uh, one of the major sort of things is um, involvement in some of our after school activities. Uh, we have a whole bunch of students who come after school. Uh, we're going to be performing with them at dance band, jazz band. They're meeting regularly after school, such as additional stuff on top of the other stuff that we do on our regular day. Uh, they're coming to meet with me after school uh, and doing some harder, more challenging music. We'll be performing some of that music both uh, Thursday and also at Six Flags next week on Friday. Plus, we've got a marching parade after that on uh, Monday. So, um, those extra things really, you know, when, when we're kind of show stepping up and doing those extra things, it makes a big difference. So, um, I do have some awards that I'm going to pass out. So, if you just bear with me for a second. Um, as I call each student, it's going to be a little challenging because there's so many of um, But as I call each student, you can come up, it works. We'll see how well it works. Um, to get to the front um, so I can hand it to you. So, here we go. So as I call you, come to the front and receive your certificate. Abram Trachtenberg. <laughs> Taylor Landy. Person. We're hearing everybody. 
And so, you know, we really have to work together uh, to be a team. Uh, but these two students really exemplified that team uh, thing. They were positive, they were there, they always showed up, and they worked so hard. Um, the first one, uh, most outstanding musician of the year, sixth grade, Eva Magnum. And the second one playing the national anthem today, Lucas Burdett. So once again, I want to just say thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you to you, the parents. You guys play a major part of this. Parents, families, grandparents, whoever you may be. Um, thank you for all you do to support these students, your children. Um, you know, learning how to play music, how to be part of a band, uh, giving them this opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity that, um, well, I take pretty personally and I, I care a lot about. So we have a great band program here in Lincoln. Um, after a couple of years of, you know, COVID and whatnot, it's really nice to see this amount of people here in this room and this amount of kids just performing on stage and sounding so good together. Um, it took us a while to get back to this. It's just it's a nice thing. So thank you for all that you do uh, in making this happen. Thank you. As the students uh, head out today, I think get everybody a sticker. So they have had stickers out. Um, I'll just wish you by row. I'll give you a sticker. You're going to head out to the to the uh, other room. When you push your stuff away, you're going to head out the front door of the building, like where the office is. You can meet your parents. Parents, just a reminder, we're going to go out that exit just to make flow a little bit easier uh, as we change with the center. Okay. If you're on the first row, stick around.